Hello and welcome to Physical Stretches. My name is Debbie and I'm here to take you through a couple of wonderful stretches to help melt away some of the stress that may be hiding in your body. Before we get started, let's get comfortable. Remember to listen to your body. It's all about relaxation and whatever feels good for you. Hey everyone, so I'm here to give you a couple of stretches that you can do to relieve pain along your spine as well as your back. Okay, for the first one for today, you're going to have a wall. Okay, placing one hand on the wall, so I have my left hand first. Give it a bit of space, so maybe about one arm's distance from the wall. You can have your feet together or maybe the feet slightly apart, depending on what feels best for you. Now what's going to happen here, your elbow is straight for the left hand that's pressing against the wall. Keep pressing against the wall until your hips start to turn out to the opposite direction. So we're going to come into a side body stretch. I'm going to bring my feet together because it's more comfortable for me that way. So press the palm into the wall, elbow straight. Start to push the hips to the opposite direction. So from here, left hand on the wall, I'm pushing my hips up to the right side. And I'm going to take my right hand up over the head. So coming into a side body stretch, you're going to feel a nice extension into the right side of the body. So from here, just checking for a moment, you're not collapsing down. Chest is open so much that you're able to look up towards the ceiling underneath your right armpit. Okay, we're just going to be here for three breaths. So actively press into the left palm, actively press the hips towards the right, and open through the chest. Breath of one, breathing here. Breath of two. Let's take one more big breath, inhale. Exhale, start to release, switching sides. So just turn around here, adjusting again for a moment, one arm's distance from the wall. Again, your choice, feet together, feet apart. For me, it's more stable to have them together. So again, now this time, right palm into the wall. I'm going to take my hips out to the left, left hand over the head. So just feeling into that left side body. If the stretch is not enough, you're going to take the hips more towards the left. Stretch your left hand up over the head even more and check that you're not collapsing. Everything's open here. Breath of one, slow and steady. Breath of two. We've just got one more big breath here. Inhale, exhale, begin to release. From here, you're going to set your hips against the wall. So your feet are not too close, okay? If you need to, feet come out a little bit further. Okay, so depending on how it feels for your hamstrings as you do this. From here, you're going to lean your, your hips against the wall. Knees are soft. Think of draping the chest over the thighs. Okay, so if you need to, go further forward. It gives you more space. Open wider with your feet, gives you more space. If it's comfortable, the feet closer together, the feet closer to the wall. From here, knees bent as much as you need them to. Chest drapes over the thighs, and you're just gonna let your head hang. Neck relax, shoulders relax, your hands can be anywhere. They may not be touching the mat or the floor, that doesn't matter. Okay, so from here, you can stay here, you can grab hold of opposite elbows. Whichever feels good for you, whichever feels like it's lengthening your low back for you. We're just going to rest here. Five slow breaths. Breath of one. Breath of two, we're breathing into the spine, into the low back. Breath of three, no tension in your head or in your neck. Last two big breaths. We take just one more breath here. Now when you're ready, start to look forward. Don't come all the way up yet. Have your fingertips on the mat, or if you need to, on your shins. Think of a flat back position. Keep your hips resting against the wall. Now from here, if it's accessible, right fingers to the mat, left leg straight. If it's not accessible, keep that left knee bent. Or if your fingers are not touching all the way down, meaning right fingers are not able to touch on the mat, keep your head at your shin, your ankle, anywhere, okay? So from here, we're going to take a twist. So I'm going to do the full range. I'm going to straighten out my left leg. You have the option to bend the knee. You have the option to bring your right hand onto your leg anywhere. Taking a twist, looking up to the left hand, left hand reaches up to the ceiling. You have the wall for support here behind you. So rest your weight onto the wall. Let's be here. Breath of one. Breath of two. So spine is in a twist. Just one more big breath here. Inhale. Exhale, begin to release. If your left leg is straight, re-bend the knee. Switching sides, so now left fingers down, either on the floor or on your leg, any part of your leg. 
Okay, option again, right leg to straight or keep it bent. This time we'll open and twist to the right. Your right hand reaching upwards to the ceiling. Taking that twist in your spine. Breath of one. Breath of two. We do just one more big breath here. Inhale. Exhale, begin to release. Both knees are soft. Stay here for a moment. Let's take another two more breaths in this fold. Keep your hips pressing against the wall. So no pressure here. Breath of one. One more deep breath. Okay, from here, look forward. You're just going to crawl your fingers forward, forward. Walk your feet forward. Now we're going to come into a squat. So bring the body all the way down, taking a squat. So have your feet slightly wider than hip width distance. If it's difficult to ground the heels down, it's okay to keep the heels lifted. Okay, we're going to try and keep the spine upright here as much as you can. From here, I'm going to bring my right shoulder to the inside of my right knee. So right shoulder is kind of pressing the knee open here. There's a tendency for the knee to do this. Okay, I'm using my upper body strength to keep the knee open. I'm going to take my left hand up to the ceiling. So you're feeling now the deflection into your hips, which are connected to your back as well. Okay, if the hips are tight, the low back will take a little bit of pressure. So we're working to the hips and at the same time with this little twist of the left hand reaching up, we're also into a bit of a spinal release. Looking up to your left fingers, we're just here for three breaths. Breath of one, right shoulder actively pressing into that right knee. Breath of two, left shoulder rolling back just a little bit. Last big breath here. And begin to release, come back to neutral for a moment. Again, it's okay for the heels to be lifted, yeah? But keep your spine upright. Let's switch sides. So now your left shoulder to the inside of the left knee. Again, helping that left knee stay open. When you're ready, right hand up to the ceiling. As much as you can, you're going to try and lift, lengthen through the right fingers. Breath of one. Breath of two. Let's take one more deep breath here. Inhale. Exhale, begin to release. Okay, cut the fingers onto the mat. We start to lift the hips up. Walk the feet in slightly closer together. And from here, keep the knees bent. We start to roll back up, standing tall. Okay, shake it out. Notice how your spine, your low back is feeling. Last big breath here. And that's all for today. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me. I hope you feel good and you feel energized. So have a great day and enjoy exploring the rest of M Nation.